Okay. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I literally just finished, man, it's bright. Editing and uploading the last video where I was getting all the parts and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. Today is the day. Finally gonna get uh, this timing belt and coolant flush and oil change done. Other maintenance coming soon, but for now, this is all I'm gonna worry about. If you'll notice, I'm in my yellow shirt of maintenance. This gives me plus 15 to craftsmanship, uh, plus 12 to ingenuity. I don't know, I'm just kind of making shit up. I just want to thank everybody once again so far for coming along. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, means a lot to me, helping me grow. Give me a comment, a like, and let's get to working on this motorcycle. try to get it on the center stand but it appears that I'm far too weak to do it on my own or I don't know the trick or something so we're just gonna start taking shit apart So we have, um, so this is this is Jeremy. He did uh, come by. He's uh, been valuable helping me take some shit off, helping me look things up, verify some things. Break stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we're breaking stuff left and right. So where we're at on this thing, we got time of belt covers off. Um, right now we've got these marks lined up on the casing and the wheels. What you can't really see, we had a hard time at first finding where this inspection port was on the l ltd let me just change the angle here on the ltd it's back way back there i don't know how well that's going to show up he was able to use the flashlight on his phone and see that it was lined up well yeah look at that yeah he rolled up on on a moto guzzi in here i think i've only seen like three moto guzzis around here in general like at all so timing belt's done we actually did get it started everything sounds fine and then it started pouring briefly so we pushed the bike inside i didn't film a whole lot on this one i didn't want this to be a how-to video there are very specific and well put together videos on how to do these you didn't need my input out there on that so we'll see when we get this thing done Okay, welcome back. Today's Tuesday. I actually intended to ride to work today, and then I remembered this morning, as I was getting ready to leave, that I never actually put another clamp back on the radiator hose. I just used two zip ties. And uh, while I was okay with that for the little test ride that I did on Sunday, I didn't really want to risk it while I was riding around in commute traffic, which can be pretty heavy at the engine hot. So I'm just gonna to slap a clamp on here real quick. Don't know if I'm gonna get out tonight to ride or not, uh, wife's at the grocery store. I've got the baby, so um, we'll get this done, and, and uh, you know we'll, put, we'll slap the helmet on tomorrow. Oh, you think you're a big, big tough guy on the motorcycle, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. Oh, I forgot I had to take that fairing off in order to get in here and get these zip ties off. Like the upper. Okay, I'm watching out. You're on the motorcycle? Don't run me over, be careful. So I bought these little hose clamps. I'm not taking that radiator hose off. Okay. Get that around the hose. 
There we go. I want to make sure I still have an angle to get to it later when I need to. All right, let's put this back together, boys. Watch out, Abba. Watch out. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you going? You gonna run me over? Yeah. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. All right, just in time, the wife came back. Grandson's been having a blast on the uh, motorcycle while I was putting that hose clamp on. One way or another, I want to see you on the motorcycle next. <laughs>back everyone it is friday it's five days since i did the timing belt that's too long i'm dragging over here so i'm having to take my sweet ass time haven't ridden all week this is the first official test ride after the timing belt for change i'm nervous as hell having never done a job like that yeah you can imagine i'm a little bit antsy like oh shit what if i didn't do something right now i know the timing belts were put on correctly i'm going to tell you what's been my biggest fear all week and I don't know where it came from. So it wasn't even Sunday night. It was Monday night. So a day later, I'm as, I'm laying in bed. I'm about to fall asleep. And all of a sudden, my brain wakes me up with, you didn't tighten down the bolts on the pulleys, on the tensioners. And I'm like, wait, did I? Now, I remember tightening down the bolts on the pulleys. I remember it. But my brain was telling me, do you remember <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't know. Fuck, did I? I mean, I know I did. I know I did. But we had so much going on that day. I started to doubt myself a little bit. Like I said, I know I did. But now I've been scared all week that I fucked that up. Oh, boy. Uh, the, the, the tricks that your mind will play on you, especially late at night. Uh, you'll notice my new accidental customization here on the left-hand side of the motorcycle. Uh, for 36 years, this motorcycle has braved the wilds and devoured miles and miles. We don't know how many miles since the odometer's broken, but it's probably chewed up more than 38, 36,820 miles. Uh, it has gone all this time with two functioning mirrors. Mike Branch gets it for one week, knocks the mirror right off of this thing. How'd you do that, Mike? Well, I was bent down doing something over here on the left-hand side while we were working on the timing belts last week. And when I raised up, knocked that motherfucker right, off, right out of the park. I mean, nobody likes to spend unnecessary money, but good news, the replacement was only $40. I already got it. And, and the replacement also came with this boot, which looks like shit. So I get to replace that too. I'm kind of happy about that. It's one of those things where I kind of want to replace that boot anyway because it looks like somebody took a dump right there on it, but eh, kind of forced my hand a little early. I'm okay with that. Anyway, back to the pulley bolt thing. Uh, the good news is, well, it's good news for my peace of mind. I'm going to have to tear all that shit down again. That sucks. Uh, it took me and Jeremy last week about six hours to do all that work. Now, a lot of that was delays that we caused ourselves from... You know, he went to Lowe's to pick up some hardware at some point. That, that was about an hour. There were several trips from outside back to inside so we could look up some things and some manuals. I took my sweet time after he left. I took my time putting it back together. Not working on the bike necessarily, but just kind of getting a good look at everything. Just kind of get an overall feel of the condition of the motorcycle, some things that I think maybe would need some attention or at least for me to look up. Will it be a lot shorter this time? Sure, but I got to tear it all down. Now, here's why. Uh, the next thing on my agenda that I absolutely want to get fixed. I know everybody's saying brakes. I'll get to that. That coolant temperature thing bothers me. It really bothers me. Like I mentioned in the video last week when I was riding this thing, any water-cooled engine that I've ever had, if it goes out, generally it's something with, the, with a cooling problem somewhere. So it makes me nervous not knowing where my temperature sits. So what I learned after I did the timing belts is that the sensor and the wiring that I need to troubleshoot is behind the radiator. Gotta tear it all down anyway. After you get the radiator out, really the only thing left at that point is just taking the, 
uh, the four little bolts out of the timing cover to open that back up. So I'll be able to satisfy some peace of mind with uh, my bolts on the pulleys just by getting in there and, and working on that, that sensor. I'm still trying to understand the schematics fully when I'm reading that thing about that sensor, but it looks like it should be a direct path uh, from the sender to the sensor up to the dashboard. It doesn't look like there's any other routing, maybe the fuse box, which again, it's under here somewhere. So I'm gonna be taking a lot of that stuff apart again. Now, what is directly after that? I have received my seals today in the mail for the caliper rebuilds. So I'm going to at least put the seals in. I'm kind of nervous that when I get in there and tear the calipers apart that I'm going to find some, some nasty corrosion in the pistons and that's going to make me end up wanting to replace the pistons, which I totally would. Uh, but for now, I've got all the seals. I didn't want to order pistons preemptively because if I didn't need them, then it's just a waste of money. What that does mean is that it'll be down even longer while I wait for pistons to come in if, in fact, I have to replace them. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, shortly after that, the, the thing on my agenda, not even the speedometer. I'm not even all that worried about the speedometer. Really. There are ways around that. So one, just don't give a shit about it. Two, I can always connect like Waze or some kind of app like that, that not only monitors navigation. Oh, I'm nervous to go too short because I'm going to scrape. Uh, but two, will give you the speed while you're going. So anyway, yeah, not worried too much about the speedometer right now. What I am going to do after I figure out the coolant and the brakes is I'm gonna work on the suspension. And that really has me baffled right now because I've watched some videos this week and I do have, by the way, I do, I, I was able to get my hands on a lot of manuals. And by a lot of manuals, I mean, I have over, well, almost a gigabyte of manuals. So there, there's no way I'm gonna need all those, but I, I did get access to them. I bought manuals legally from official sources. I am looking through some of this stuff, but I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the stuff that I do, I learn from either experience or watching people do it on YouTube. I've got no problem admitting that. I'm not really seeing anything on these on this air suspension. There's a lot of stuff out there on uh, you know fork seals and whatnot, and I'm going to do that, but these have the air, from what I understand, in addition to you know regular oil, uh, so I'm at least going to figure that out, but I want to get obviously the engine running right, the brakes, and, uh, know how hot my motor is getting and the suspension. Once those things are done, I feel like I'm going to be in a place where I can test it out on something with a little more distance than the 15 miles to my job. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna wrap up this recording right here, I think. I've got a little bit of ways to go to get back to the house, but I think instead of spending my time focused on talking to you guys, as much as I love you, uh, I'm gonna enjoy the ride for a little bit. This is my first ride this week. It's beautiful out right now, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy that. So, sorry for no midweek video. This is the one I intended to put out middle of the week, but it is what it is, man. This is a hobby. I appreciate you coming along. And until next time, we'll see you later.